Okay, it's time for another um, video about Trump, which I have titled, and I've stolen the title, from a, bo a book by Rick Wilson. Um, and the title I'm using for this video series on Donald Trump is Everything Trump Touches Dies. And the subtitle that Rick Wilson used, this is a screenshot or a screenshot of the book. That's the cover of the book, and uh, subtitle of his book, and I'm going to use his subtitle here. I'm stealing it, and I'm going to copyright it. <laughs> uh, a Republican strategist gets real about the worst president ever. Yeah, I'm going to keep repeating that. I'm sorry. You know, I'll put music in the background so you don't get too bored. But some people, I don't know, they don't realize how serious the situation is. So um, there's a debate on uh, amongst us who are worried. <laughs> is, is this the worst president in like the last 150 years or last 100 years? Uh, like there was a president impeached after, after the Civil War, Andrew Johnson, uh, who was a very bad president. And I don't know if he did criminal activity. By the way, Donald Trump is accused of criminal activity. <laughs> uh, criminal activity in his foundation, criminal activity in his real estate organization, criminal activity in the campaign. Oh, well, by the way, also criminal activity is possible in the inauguration fund or the inauguration. In other words, the inauguration committee raised a bunch of money and there's a bunch of money missing. Oh, and he may not have paid taxes. So he may be involved in tax fraud. So let's just say that the president is a criminal. <laughs> sorry. So uh, I'm sorry to bore people, and I'm sorry I sound like a broken record. But, you know, Donald Trump sounds like a broken record. I'm doing tremendous. I'm doing great. I'm doing this fantastic. This is the greatest thing ever. Yeah, I'm, I'm bored with that. So, so we'll be bored together. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm also tired of the racism and the stupid tweets. So I'm tired of stupid racism, stupid tweets, the utter incompetence and corruption. So uh, we, I'm doing these videos. And um, yeah, everything Trump touches dies. So let's see, the intro is over. We're now, we're in, uh, let's see, this is May. And um, you know, of course, Trump is in all kinds of trouble still because not only are they investigating Trump on the federal level, Congress, He's in all kinds of trouble in New York State, where he had his foundation. Here's the, he's he's in trouble in New York State for where he had his foundation. He's in trouble in New York State where he has a lot of his real estate, and where he's in trouble with his state taxes. So he's in trouble with state tax. I'm telling you, Republicans out there, this is a message for you, Republicans and conservatives, the Tea Party too. I noticed you've got videos. So he's in trouble in New York State. And there are also grand juries in the district, uh, I don't know, the, the, one of the districts in Maryland, a federal uh, grand jury in Maryland, I think there's a federal grand jury in Virginia. Um, yeah, it's going to be endless baloney, uh, endless, not baloney, but endless legal troubles. Oh, and then he's refusing to release his tax returns, which, by the way, in other words, I, this is another lie that Donald used. Another lie that Donald used was, oh, I'm going to release tax returns as soon as the audit is over. And, um, well, <laughs> gee, is this the audit's been going on for two years now, three years? Every other president has released their tax returns since Eisenhower. Did you hear that? Do I have to repeat that to you? Uh, so Donald Trump has not re released it. Oh, and the, so now they're getting subpoenaed by the House Ways and Means Committee. So that's another um, um, kettle or a pot, a boiling pot that <laughs> Trump is, is stuck in. He has to. He he's he's going to do everything he can to avoid releasing tax returns because there's two reasons. One, he probably has paid little or no nothing in taxes which will make people angry who do pay taxes and the other thing is he he may be involved in tax fraud which is a crime 
Our president is a criminal? Did I say that? About, yeah, I think I said that about uh, a minute ago, two minutes ago. Oh, and, and also to remind people, this is to remind veterans and very, very, veterans and very, 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 very patriotic people that Donald Trump um, was a draft age during the Vietnam War, and um, he very artfully, the art of the Dodge, <laughs> I'm going to patent that. The art of the dodge. The art of the draft dodge. And here it is. Here it is, folks. I I'm going to put it up in the art of the draft dodge. And um, you can admire it. And you can... And this goes to the Tea Party, too. Um, the Tea Party. Ron Romney. I don't know what prominent Republicans are out there. Mitch McConnell. Local prominent Republicans in Michigan. I don't know. I, I forget who they are now. <laughs> Ron Romney. I th she lived in Michigan, didn't she? Um, she's, a, she's the chair of the uh, RNC. And then we get the local Tea Party. Listen, I'm going to do some investigation of the local Tea Party. But lo lo Tea Party people, here's you guys are pe tree par Tea Party patriots. So notice, patriots, how many draft deferments do you see you're there? <laughs> I don't know. Four? These are, these are draft deferments. Um... This, this is a really art, artful, um, uh, art of the dodge, a very artful thing. He got student deferments, um, and um, I don't know how many, four or five, something like that. And then he ran out of student deferments. So, and then you can see, and I don't have a close-up, I'll figure out, eventually figure out how to do a close-up on this machine. It's an Apple machine editor that I'm using, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> and it's too complicated. I, I've just figured out how to put up the screenshots. But uh, in the middle of the paper there, you can see a date, and it says D-I-S-Q. That means disqualification, and you see right above the DISQ, you see 4F. That is a medical disqualification. And oh, I'm going to put this up again. I'll put the slide of cadet bone spurs. Uh, Trump was quote unquote diagnosed, and this is another fraud. This it, he's all about fraud and scamming. So you know, uh, he was diagnosed with bone spurs and we don't know what foot which one it was um, and because of the bone spurs he couldn't go over to Vietnam and fight etc etc um, so we call him cadet uh, we call him cadet bone spurs <laughs> well you could call him cor corporal bone, sp bone spurs I think you could give him a little promotion um, so I'm going to put that in every video. Okay, that's the intro is done. Okay, let's take a break here after that uh, rather long introduction. Uh, and uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Trump's exquisite... It's the only, practically the only thing he does well is photo ops. And photo op, he's great at photo ops because he's on television. But he can't run anything. Okay, I'm back. Um, this, um, well, this is a photo op. I'm calling them photo ops. And it's all staged. And you could call this one the Four Bald Guys Press Conference. Press Conference. Four Bald Guys. And uh, this was hilarious to me. I thought, wow. What are the odds of having four men all together completely bald without hair. Now they, as you can see closely, they do they do have hair. They, they you know, if they let it grow out, but they've be, for the photo op they look, oh man, they look tough. They look serious. They look scary. They look thug. You know what? They look thug like. <laughs> so the four bald guys. And by the way, they see this is all per, on purpose. Well, look at how look at the impression that this makes. Four bald men, burly bald men, 
uh, on stage. Um, oh, and then here's Donald. Wait, wait a second. Let's let's look at Donald's hair, and then his eyes. He's got the raccoon eyes. We we think that the um, the tanning booth does not get. He wears protective covering over the eyes. So everything about him is fake. Every <laughs> his skin is fake. Either either he's using a tanning booth or he's using this spray. Uh, spray to color his, uh, make his skin look uh, golden, uh, and uh, okay. And then each bald guy, I'm just calling them bald guys. Sorry, <laughs> each bald guy. They're border patrol people. Each border patrol people. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, so um, I'm talking about the four bald guys press conference about uh, border, border stuff. And um, this was just total theater. <laughs> um, there, there was nothing policy. Uh, no facts were brought forward, really. Um, it was just a big show. And um, I was impressed. I thought, how do you get four bald guys? <laughs> and oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, each bald guy got a turn to speak. And by the way, they, oh, they're also wearing little lapel pins. I don't know. This one said Freemason. I don't know. The other one has a flag. Who knows? It's And Trump has a flag, you see there. And you see his raccoon eyes. And then the guy behind him there, they didn't give him a turn to speak. The other three guys, the th other three ball guys, M Mo, Larry, no. Uh, <laughs> they all spoke. This guy, he, he was just there uh, for moral support and his bald head. Um... The, oh, and let me just tell you, this is important, really important stuff to know. This guy was Brandon somebody. What, Brandon? What was his last name? I don't know. He was the president of something called the National Border Patrol <laughs> Council, <laughs> which is a nothing phony on paper organization, and, as far as I know. But I don't know. Um, maybe it is a legitimate. And there, you know what? In order to be in this. Uh, Border Patrol book guy, you got to be a man and you've got to be bald. <laughs> you got to be bald and you have to have really impressive eyebrows. Um, yeah, bald, impressive eyebrows, big shoulders. That's, you know, and, yeah. And you got to like Donald Trump. National Border Patrol Council. I don't know what they are. You have to, you have to allow me to laugh. Uh, you know, I mean, when this stuff gets this crazy and silly, I'm going to laugh at it. So each one of them spoke, uh, except the one behind Trump there. By the way, you can see how choreographed this is. No, no it's choreographed. What's in the screenshot? What's in the shot? Is in the center of the shot is four bald guys, tough, tough-looking bald guys, and the president. This is this happens throughout. And then this the closer-up ones, you see at, le at least two two bald guys, one over each shoulder. And this is the magic of Donald Trump, is these impressive, impressive uh, photo ops. Just amazing. Um, so, oh, and let me just address for Michigan people, uh, local people. Yeah, if you hate Mexicans, if you really, really hate Mexicans, and this hatred of Mexicans is kind of new. This didn't occur 10, 15, 20 years ago because the Mexicans were doing, pay, being paid crummy, crummy low wages to do stuff that we won't, we, I'm talking about we non-Mexican people wouldn't do, which would be backbreaking harvesting during the summertime from 10 hours to 12 hours from sun up to sundown. We're not going to do that work. That's for Mexicans. And if you've eaten that stuff that Mexicans have been picking uh, for the last, well, 50, 60, 70 years, yeah, ooh, you're complicit. <laughs> <laughs> You're complicit in criminal activity, illegal, illegal picking of fruits and vegetables. And surely you people eat fruits and vegetables. Surely you do that. Even Republicans do that. I'm, I'm positive. Republicans and Trump voters, even independents do that. Of course, Democrats do that. They're a bunch of communists and socialists, right? So they eat fruits and vegetables, too. Um, so if you're a Trump voter... Yeah, you have, unfortunately, you have eaten fruits and vegetables that have been picked illegally by the hordes coming across the border. Um, so this wasn't a problem until um, 
this didn't become a problem until what five years ago and then people realized uh oh there are too many Mexicans here I don't know I'm start, starting to get on a racial territory I hate to do this but racism is still a big problem oh I've got a good shot about racism let me put that in yeah I was talking about well the border people border control and the hatred of the Mexicans which is racial um, I don't know, racial racism uh, based fear based which Trump plays on and if you think there isn't a race problem in the United States um, this I saw today just today um, this is a shot of um, screenshot it says Emmett Emmett Till memorial sign in Mississippi shot Emmett Till was killed uh, well, he was a teenager killed in uh, Mississippi thrown in a river Mississippi there was a memorial to him I, I don't this is what I'm uh, reading on the internet and this was marked and I don't know how old this memorial is but that's America for you <laughs> oh god um, I, I attempted to read the inscription let's see here well you guys can read it um, I, well uh, he was killed in Mississippi. He was from Chicago. And this was in the 1950s when he was killed, I believe. 1950-something. I don't think it was the 60s. It was the 50s. And his killers were not found, of course. And everybody knew who they were. I think there were three men. And they may have been convicted... I don't know. In, <laughs> may have, they may have been convicted uh, recently uh, as people have come forward. But yeah, it's all shot up. Uh, yep, America, no problem with racism. Well, um, yeah, and talking about hate and racism and xenophobia, which Trump and the Republican Party now are own. You guys own this now. Um, it's it's part of the Republican Party, unfortunately. You used to suppress it and hide it and sort of double talk or give hints and dog whistles. Now you guys are just right out and open about it. So, I mean, 10 years ago, you hated gay people. That was the great threat that was going to destroy the country, was gay people. And you've abandoned that. I'm talking about the Republican Party. You've abandoned your hate of gays and, and replaced the hate of gays with the hate of Mexicans. So, hey, thumbs up. If I had a thing, I'd do thumbs up hatred toward Mexicans. The new, <laughs> the new Republican Party. And the new, uh, so, like, I think I covered, now I have to go back, oh, wait, wait, stop, stop. Okay, let me get back to the, the, um, the subject of photo ops and, and choreographed, uh, phony, <laughs> uh, press conferences and photo op uh, opportunities that Trump uses all the time in, in place of real action and real uh, policy. So this was the four bald guys press conference on the border, border security, border patrol, border wall. We want a border wall. Let me give you an update on that. Um, there is no wall being built. <laughs> There's no wall being built. Um, the Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, uh, did not approve the I think it was 20 billion, was it? 20 billion to start building the wall. That was rejected. I think it was rejected twice by the Congress. Um, and um, and of course, of course, Mexico will not pay for the wall. <laughs> that was ne yeah. That was big. That was one of the bigger lies that Trump used. But of course, Trump always lies, right? We we know that. Um, so there is, there will be no, so all this hate that you, that Trump has generated and the Republicans have generated toward Mexicans, and by the way, the, a lot of these Mexicans, or, and it, it's not just Mexicans, it's Guatemalans, Hondurans, El Salvadorians, they're coming, they're, they are women and children and young people, and they're fleeing violence in their own country. So they're not, what, the terrorist threats, that was another lie. Uh, they're not the terrorist threats. Um, some of them are, are kids. Um, so they're families that are fleeing these areas. So um, it's well, it's more much more complicated than Trump uh, makes it out to be. 
uh, we had the four ball guys tell us that there is no wall and Mexico will not pay for the wall. <laughs> hey, thanks, Donald. Thumbs up. Thumbs up again. Okay, here's here's another example of photo op. Oh, I put in there super duper photo op. You see how well choreographed this is? Uh, the screen the screen is filled with patriotic young strong men in their fanciest uniforms. Let's see what I, I don't know what the division of service this is. Uh, there, there maybe several services. I don't know the Marines. I don't know. Um, and they're all guys, and they're all macho and tough. Uh, they're athletes, by the way. So Trump is going to go for um, the press or the photo op. Oh, he's surrounded by virile men. This is very fascist kind of like stuff. Hey, I, I, I have to say it. I'll throw that in. Uh, but yeah, well choreographed. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful photo op. Beautiful. It's too bad the country has some kinds of problems. Um, but yeah. That's uh, the photo op thing. Okay, let me stop there. Okay, I've almost gotten a half hour in here. Uh, let me just talk about the issue, the news of this week. Um, okay, this is the top news story, uh, political story at uh, Reddit. Uh, or this is the top three uh, votes, vote getting. Um, and you can see the top one with 51k upvotes is um, decade in the red Trump tax figures show over 1 billion uh, in business losses <laughs> oh, pardon pardon my laughter um, so from a decade from 1980 I think it was 85 to 94 or I don't know. It was eighty from the end, uh, last part of the '80s, first part of the '90s. Trump lost over a billion dollars. I think it was 1.7 billion or 1.2 billion, something something enormous like that. Um, he's a horrible, horrible businessman, and I'm going to say this in in every video. I'm going to try to anyway. The people who thought you people out there who thought Trump was a great businessman were duped. He's a horrible businessman, and all of the casinos, his big play, Trump's big play, his big move, was to uh, build and buy and invest in four Atlantic City casinos. Four. They all failed. All four are gone. They're empty buildings. They couldn't even sell them. They couldn't, couldn't repurpose them. For other uses, they all went bankrupt. I don't know numerous times because Trump doesn't know how to run a casino. <laughs> he doesn't know how to run a casino, and he's too lazy to learn. And, oh, and he can't read. By the way, well, he doesn't. He not that he can't read. Reading is very hard. It's difficult, and he doesn't bother to do it. So, um, so that was the second one. The Schiff introduced con constitutional measure, uh, amendment on uh, says United. McConnell shuts the door on Mueller report. I don't know. It's just, uh, what is it? Warren called to impeach instead. Okay, yeah, we're, to, we're talking about impeachment now. So that's what's going to happen for the next year and a half. Republicans, Tea Party people, Trump isn't going to get anything done. He can't work with the Democratic House of Representatives. And McConnell can't work either or doesn't want to work with the Democrats for the most part at all. He's obstructionist, and um, so nothing will get out of. I'm guessing nothing will get out of Congress, um, unless perhaps it has something to do with foreign policy, maybe, and Russia. I, I think that the Republicans are really worried about the Russian influence and also the Saudi influence uh, on Trump, because the Russians are horrible. <laughs> the Russians are really awful. Um, and let's see, I got another screenshot of the other news that's coming up. Oh, we're okay. That was 61k up over for Trump losing a billion dollars. Let's quickly go over these other ones. Uh, Nadler, Deutsch, Swalwell introduce a uh, bill to ensure presidents can be accountable for criminal conduct. President is not involved with law. Yeah, president is involved. Could 
if you and as I said at the beginning of the video, the criminal activity in in the foundation, in uh, the inaugural committee, in the Trump organization, that has nothing. I'm not even talking about Russia. I'm just talking about the stuff he's doing here. Uh, and, oh, American support for impeaching Trump rises. Well, it it rose to forty five percent. <laughs> and that got 40, 40k upvotes. So, uh, oh, here's here's another interesting twist. A caravan of Americans is crossing the Canadian border to get affordable medical care because the medical care in the United States is the most expensive medical care in the world. And it's not that great because people are not that healthy in the United States. And let's see, Megathread, well, at the bottom here, Megathread, Treasury denies Democrats' request, oh, for tax returns. Yeah, Trump doesn't want to release his tax returns, even though he's lied about that. He's going to release them. As soon as the audit, you know the audit. Keeps, the audit keeps going, though, so you can't release them until that audit. It's just a problem. Yeah, no, he doesn't want to release them. So that's going to be what we call a constitutional crisis and an impeachable offense. So thanks, Donald. Okay, let me stop. Okay, that's um, this week in Trump, Trump world, unfortunately. Um, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end it with this uh, clip, and I'm gonna put music over it. I don't know what kind of music. I gotta. I gotta figure out what, what might go well with this. I don't know. This being thrown together. But these are quotes about Donald. Uh, and these are not these are not Democrats or communists or socialists quotes. These are Republicans talking about Trump. Oh, an effing moron! That's Rick, Rex Tillerson said that. An idiot. That's General John Kelly, who was chief of staff. He's gone. Rex Tillerson is gone. Uh, an idiot and a dope. That's H. R. McMaster. Z. McMaster. He was a he's a general. I was I, I think he was security council. Um, uh, an idiot surrounded by clowns. <laughs> an idiot surrounded by clowns. That's Gary Cohen. He was. Um, what was Gary Cohen? He was an economic advisor that was fired. <laughs> he fires people right and left. That's. And then he doesn't replace them with uh, anybody better. Gary Cohen. Okay, Steve Bannon. He's like an 11 year old child. <laughs> Pardon my, you know, can you just let me laugh a little bit here? Okay, and then the last quote is an empty vessel when it comes to things like the Constitution and rule of law. I'm surprised Scott Pruitt said that. Scott Pruitt, um, let's see, what was Scott Pruitt? I think he was EPA. Yeah, that's right. He was an EPA. I will double check on that one. That one, I don't, I'm not I'm aware that Scott Pruitt was a critical of Donald. So I got to I got to find some good music, and then well, that's the end of this this episode. Your voice, your community.